Let's have a chat about money, why don't we? Something I don't discuss very often, if at all. For that matter, it's a bit of a taboo, right? You generally don't go up to someone and say, hey, so how much money do you make? But you assume, right, if someone works a job, they're paid either hourly or they get a salary. But on the other hand, when it comes to YouTube, it's not always regarded in such a straightforward fashion. So when I say that making these videos is my job, which I, I actually kind of do hate saying because you know the whole, you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life, that whole thing. I've always felt that way, but this is what I do on a full-time basis. So in one way or another, it is technically my job, even if it doesn't feel like it. I mean, I do obviously have side projects going on, but YouTube still is my main thing. And when I say that, 99% of the people watching this are like, yeah, I know, obviously that's why you're able to get up videos in such a regular, consistent fashion. But you get the couple of other people who are like, wow, what a sellout. Get a real job, man. You used to be cool, but then like the money got involved. And to everyone's credit, that does get better every year. Like two years ago, even it might've been like 90%, 10% instead of like 99% and 1%. So people get more and more accustomed to the idea as time goes by. But I can't help feeling there's still a slight, but ever present stigma looming in the background against YouTubers. And I should say any online content creators for that matter, earning money, whether it be through AdSense or or sponsorships or whatever whatever other avenues there are to do that in. But why is that though? Like how did that even come about? I think there are actually a couple reasons for it. One is sort of on YouTube among the, the viewers, the people who watch the YouTube content creators, and the other is, is off YouTube. It's more driven by like third party news media outlets. Let's focus on like the on YouTube stuff to begin with. I think that, that the reason why the stigma exists is because for the most part, most of these people who are making YouTube videos, myself included, we just started because we were kind of like interested in doing a thing and so we just did it. And myself, for example, and most of the other people who I know who make gaming videos, like we just liked playing games and we were like, hey, I wanna do this thing and show it off to a whole bunch of people, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And at the time, which was about five and a half years ago, almost six years ago now, I had no idea that you could even earn money doing it. In fact, when I started, there wasn't really a way to, to earn anything with gaming. You had to submit to a third party company like Machinima, then they would monetize the videos and they would send you a cut, which I didn't even know about that when I when I started off. That was only like a couple months in that I, I became aware of that. So, you know, I start off five and a half years ago with, hey, I'm pretty good at Call of Duty. I see these other people posting these gameplay commentary videos. I may as well try it out myself because not many other people at my school are interested in the game, so why not go for it? And then over time, some people start watching, right? And then the idea of, hey, you're actually able to monetize this comes around. And as a content creator, you're like, what? I can I can keep doing what I've already been been doing, but now I'm able to monetize it? That sounds really freaking cool. But then on the other hand, right, as a viewer, you say, but, but, hey man, it's all been fun and games so far, and now you're introducing this other thing that kind of gives you an ulterior motive, and are you really in this for fun anymore, or is it now just all about the paycheck? And, like, I, I understand that fear. I've always, you know, I, I've kept doing this just because I've, I've enjoyed it all the way through, like, Dude, it's really, really cool for me to be able to do what I do, and I do not take it for granted. It is awesome and incredible that I am able to wake up and do this on a daily basis, and I, I really, really am thankful for everyone who, who watches me. Like, it's, it's super awesome, and I, I can't say that enough. But on the other hand, in order for me to do this as much as I do, I obviously have to have some way to sustain myself on it. And even though money is sort of a taboo topic, I'd be very hard-pressed to find someone who, when presented with the opportunity to make money doing something they're already doing, would be like, mm, nah, I think I'll pass and not do that. And I would argue very strongly that when it comes to YouTube, the ability for people to earn a living doing it is a very good thing for the sake of entertainment, because without that, people would not be able to dedicate the time and effort they do into making these videos, which ultimately, hopefully, you enjoy watching. If you don't enjoy watching them, I'm not quite sure why you're here watching. Um, I'm sorry if you're being forced somehow. Uh, it wasn't not my decision, but 
I apologize if that's the case, but I think for the most part, people who follow a YouTube channel, right, they do it because they enjoy the channel and the ability for someone to focus on it full time allows them to create better content for the most part. And so although that that idea is a little bit scary initially, like, hey, this, is, this seems to be changing your motives, I would say... 99% of the time, it ends up being a good thing because it, it helps out everyone all around. You get better entertainment, the person gets to focus on doing something that they enjoy on a full-time basis, and I'd like to think, for the most part, everyone wins. And like I said, I, I think the attitude around this on YouTube gets better every single year. People are like really supportive most of the time, like, dude, I want you to be able to do what you do because I enjoy your videos and I'm gonna do my best to, to support you. And I think that's super awesome. And so, the, you know, this has become become more and more of a, a non-issue over the years. And, and I just thank you again for, for allowing me to, to do what I do. It is really amazing and, and I don't take that for granted at all. And this, this brings me to the next side though, which is what I mentioned about like third party news media outlets and whatnot, because I think that on the other hand, uh, it's not gotten quite so accustomed to, to this idea of online content creators earning uh, money. I feel like it's more and more and more often these days as I see a news article headline, whoa, you'll never believe how much money this dude makes and all he does is sit around on his ass all day and play video games, what? How is that even possible? And then all the comments to the article are like, my faith in humanity is just completely falling apart right now and what, this is ridiculous, how is this? he doesn't deserve that, he's sitting on his butt all day playing video games and I'm like, man, I wish I could figure out a way to just sit and play video games all day and just make YouTube magically work somehow in the background without having to do anything. That would be awesome. Um, but unfortunately, there's like more work that goes into it. I want to just sit around all day and play video games. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, there's a lot that you have to like plan out as to what to record and you have to do it on a schedule and then you have to go and make sure that everything comes out okay and edit it and upload it, make the thumbnails, descriptions, yada, 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 monitor how things are going. And uh, you know, there's a little bit, a little bit more that goes into it. Uh, personally, um, I, I'm generally, and I don't say this in order to try to garner sympathy at all because I really, really like what I'm doing, which I've mentioned plenty of times, but just factually, fact of the matter, I generally, if I'm not like eating or sleeping, I'm usually doing something related to whether it be YouTube or streaming or some side project. So generally that's like 15 or 16 hours a day. And I find that's how it is for the most part with online content creators, because ultimately like Everything falls on you. You are the only one managing you and your quote unquote job because there's no one else to fall back on. Like it's just you. And so because of that, like, you put a lot of work into that. And most people who don't put the work in, like they fall behind in it. And so you see the articles with these inflammatory titles. And I would argue in many cases, the journalist probably realizes that there's a lot more that goes into it than just sitting and playing video games, but they title it in such a way so as to get all this attention. And then you have the people who are fans of these content creators who actually like they're aware of what sort of work goes into this stuff and then they're going head to head with the other people who are like what this is ridiculous all they do is play video games all day and then they go back and forth and it creates this tension in the comments which is great for the publication right they want attention they want clicks they want as many people reading these articles as possible so if they can create this this tumultuous environment i mean all the better for them. And so these days, while online content creation is still sort of in its infancy, at least relative to more traditional media, movies, TV, sports, those sorts of entertainment, the best way to generate attention is the more controversial, the better, right? And I would even argue that a lot of the people who might be expressing their outrage as a result of these articles at online gaming content creators in particular, earning these big paychecks based upon quote unquote, sitting around and playing video games. There are probably a lot of the same people who might go and spend $80 on a pay-per-view fight to watch a couple people get paid $150 million a piece to punch each other in the face for half an hour. Or maybe they'll go watch a baseball game where a couple teams with $200 million salary caps will throw balls at each other and hit balls and catch balls. Or maybe you watch the news and you see news anchors that get paid many, many million dollar salaries sit at a desk and talk about 
things. And if you think I'm trying to belittle established forms of entertainment, I'm not. I watch all those things. I've watched boxing matches that I've paid for. I've been to baseball games and I watch the news. I'm simply phrasing it in the same way that articles will phrase things about people who do this making YouTube videos. Unfortunately, the article title, Guy Who Spends 100 Plus Hours a Week Doing Something is one of very few people in the world to earn a large amount of money doing it, doesn't draw as many clicks as Guy Who Sits On Ass All Day Playing Video Games Earns Millions. And I think what it all boils down to is that this is a very new form of media that's arisen in the past three to five years that a lot of people don't understand. And when it comes to gaming in particular, a lot of the audience is a lot younger. That It's teenaged. And so when the older crowd gets wind of it, they say, what? Why would anyone be interested in this? This is absurd. How could anyone want to watch someone playing video games? That's absolutely ridiculous. What? They're earning money doing it? This is an outrage. Humanity is, is falling apart. And I think it's because it's very hard as someone who is older to empathize with why someone would be interested in watching something that's geared towards younger people. On the other hand, when it comes to TV that's aimed towards a younger audience, or toys, the older audience, they were young at one point, and that's what they watch, so they're used to it. So when they see younger kids watching that same sort of stuff, playing with those toys, they're like, yeah, I did that when I was younger, that's perfectly normal. This is new, this, this wasn't around, and so it, it's very hard to grasp. And, and understand why there's an interest there. And so the reaction is, is much less favorable because that it's very hard to understand. I, I, I can sympathize with that, but there is a large audience that's very interested. And I think 30 years down the road, once the people who are for the most part watching this gaming content today have all grown up, it's gonna be a much, much more widely accepted and well understood thing because you'll have all of these adults who are like, yeah, I watched that when I was younger. That was, that was cool stuff. And I should mention there are some adults who watch my stuff. Sorry if I sound like I'm generalizing everyone, but hi, I know you're out there. What's up? How you doing? And so uh, in the end, do I deserve a big paycheck for doing what I do? Does any other online content creator deserve a big paycheck for doing what they do? I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Ultimately, the fact of the matter is, if there are a lot of eyeballs on something, there's going to be a way to monetize it. And the more eyeballs you have, the more that is going to come in as a result. And that's just the way it ends up working. I don't think it's a new phenomenon, right? Like you have actors, you have athletes. It's all, it's all different forms of entertainment. And generally, People don't question the salaries of actors and athletes, etc., because it's a very established thing that's been going on for a very, very long time. But this is new, once again, and so people are still trying to figure it all out, and that causes tension to arise, and I think that's where all of this comes from. And, you know, the beauty of it all is that if you've gotten to this point in the video and you still say, Nah, what you do is a bunch of baloney, anyone can do it, it's ridiculous that you're able to make a good living doing what you're doing, you can try it too. There's literally nothing stopping you. If you have a cell phone, you can upload videos yourself, you can live stream, and you can try it out, as opposed to Hollywood or Major League Sports, where it's basically you have to dedicate yourself from a very young age to making that happen. You can do this right now, right this second. If you wanna try making videos, if you wanna try live streaming, Go right ahead. And I say that in a complete 100% sincere fashion. If you think you can do it, like honestly, go for it. Give it a try, there's nothing stopping you. It's the people of the world that, that get to decide whether or not you deserve to, to be doing what you're doing. They'll watch if they find it entertaining. If they don't find it entertaining, they're probably not gonna watch unless people like being masochists or being bored. I don't think most people like that. So like, give it a try. That is the beauty of doing this content on the internet is that the barrier to entry is so low. If you have a cell phone, you can you can do it. Maybe it's not gaming content if it's just on your cell phone, but most people watching this probably have a computer as well. And there's some way that you're able to, to screen capture on there and give it a try. So by all means, do it. Just get out there and, and do it if, if you want. And uh, that's all I wanted to say. I think. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks so much for allowing me to do what I do. And that's all for now. I'll see you next time. <laughs>